Luke Jones was born in Liverpool in the summer of 1997. Liverpool had just finished fourth in the Premier League and his father's beloved Everton had just escaped relegation. And it would be the Toffees who he would grow up to support just like his dad. Luke grew up in a loving family on the Easter House estate in West Liverpool. When he wasn't in school, he was always playing football and he was a highly talented young goalkeeper. He was a little on the short side, but he was expected to grow one day and be just like his dad at over six foot. Well, this was the hopes of the Everton scouts when they spotted him playing. And just before his 11th birthday, Luke was signed up to the academy at Everton. In the first year, things were going great for Luke. Life at Everton was amazing, but then tragedy struck the young boy as his father randomly dropped dead at the dinner table. This would be a moment the young Luke would never forget. His best friend and mentor was gone, but Luke was determined to make it at Everton in honour of his dad. The next two years went really well for Luke. His youth team went from strength to strength, winning several tournaments. His coaches, though, had started to worry as Luke wasn't growing and despite his talent looked like he would never be big enough to be a goalkeeper. And just after Luke's 15th birthday, he was released by the club he loved for being too short. The kid was devastated. He felt like he'd let his father down. The next year, Luke went on a downward spiral. He started hanging around with the wrong crowd, taking and dealing drugs, and after several run-ins with the law, his life looked like it was going nowhere and Luke felt like he had nothing to look forward to. And just when he thought it couldn't get any worse, his mother contracted a mystery illness and died, leaving Luke in the care of his uncle. Now his uncle was okay, but he didn't really care about what Luke was up to, leaving Luke to get into more and more trouble. Now at 19 years old, Luke started to have his first thoughts about ending his life. Nothing had worked out for him. His parents were dead, his football career never happened and he worked in a dead-end job pushing trolleys at Asda. Final straw came when his girlfriend left him for one of the managers at work. Enough was enough for Luke, he felt completely worthless and he was in a very, very dark place mentally. On his way home from work that day, all he could think about was ending his life. Who would miss him? He had no friends, he had no girlfriend, his uncle couldn't really care less what he was doing. The world would surely be a better place without me in it, he thought. So as he crossed the motorway bridge near his house, he looked over the rail. He had no fear. He was looking forward to being free of his life. He climbed up onto it, took a deep breath, closed his eyes and got ready to jump. Just as he was about to leap off, he got a text with a link to a Twitch channel. It was from one of the old checkout girls at work. She had noticed he was looking really, really down. Her son had suffered with depression, so she recognised what it looked like. He had been helped out by an amazing mental health charity organisation called Evolving Mindset. She had no idea, but she had just saved Luke's life. Sat on that bridge, Luke opened the link, and what he found would change his life forever. The link took him to a gaming Twitch channel of Lee Monaghan. Lee was a mental health nurse who had helped to create this amazing charity. They helped anyone with any kind of mental health issues, providing free sessions and advice and continuous support. Lee had started his Twitch channel to create a place of fun, a safe place for people to come, a place full of people who had been through the same thing Luke had, but had come out the other side together, helping and supporting each other, whilst also watching Lee play football manager badly. How's it going guys and girls? Lemo57, welcome to the stream. Um, tonight we're going to carry on with the um, the FM21 save. Um, been struggling a little bit lately, uh, so we need to get back on form. Um, so if you want to get involved or you've got any questions or you just want to have a general chat, stick a message in the chat and uh, hopefully we can we can pick it up. Uh, boss community in here as you know, loads of positive vibes tonight guys and girls. Uh, let's keep that energy flowing, let's keep that energy positive. Um, and as you guys know and those of you who are new, um, I am the director of a mental health company called Evolver Mindset. So if you are something... You should see some details on the screen. We are a, a charity-based organisation, so if you do want to get in touch with me via Twitch, via Twitter, via my Discord, you can do, or you can get in touch with us on the socials on the screen. Before Luke knew it, it was dark. He hadn't moved. He'd just got lost into one of Limo's streams, sat on the edge of a bridge. Over the next few months and years, Luke became a huge part of this community. He met so many people who had felt like him and through Evolving Mindset support and the community Lee had created, he started to feel human again. 
He had so many new friends and he had so much support. Maybe there was a light at the end of the tunnel for him. His confidence grew and his self-respect was at an all-time high. And by the time he was 23, he'd become a lorry driver, he had his own home and he had a beautiful new girlfriend. All thanks to that chance text on a bridge that led him to Lee, an evolving mindset. Life was great for Luke, but the drama wasn't over. Each year, Evolving Mindset took part in a charity football game at Boafold Stadium in Staley Bridge. The game raised huge amounts of money for several different mental health charities, but on the morning of the game, Lee had a problem. His goalkeeper had been out on the beer the night before and was way too hung over to play. And Lee wanted to win, but he had no backup keeper. But then he remembered a chat he had with Luke in one of his streams on Twitch. Luke was a former youth keeper at Everton. So Lee called him up and asked him if he would play for them today. He knew it was short notice, but he was really desperate. Luke didn't give it a second thought. He owed his life to Lee and the work evolving mindset had done for him over the years. So he grabbed his old gloves and set off to the game. Now Luke at 23 wasn't as short as he once was, but five foot nine, he wasn't the tallest keeper. But what he did have was bags of ability. Evolving Mindset won the game 2-1 with Luke saving a penalty in the 89th minute. It felt great to help Lee win and play football again. Life really was worth living and just as he was about to walk off the pitch, he felt a tap on his shoulder. Hello son, a voice said. I'm the chief scout at Oldham Athletic. I came here to support the charity. I never thought I'd see a player of your talent here today, so I am very, very happy that I came. I'd like you to come down to Boundary Park and try out for us. We are desperate for goalkeepers. Luke's mind was blown. Of course he wanted to go down and try out. The following Wednesday, he played in Oldham's reserves and Harry Kuehl, the manager, loved what he saw. He signed him up there and then. Luke had made it. He couldn't believe it. He was going to get a chance at being a footballer again. He hoped his mum and dad could see him now and he would be forever grateful that he found Evolving Mindset and that he reached out for help. So let's follow this brave young man's career. Where will it take him? Hello, I'm Bood FM and welcome to one of my story experiments. This is Evolving Mindset. Now, I love doing these story experiments, but if you're already a subscriber, you'll know I'm trying to promote my friend's mental health charity, Evolving Mindset, as much as I can this year. I mean, I'm consistently wearing this hoodie. Um, on my Tame Valley Let's Play, I've got them on um, the shirts I'm selling. I'm trying to raise money through shirt sales. And with this video, anything I make from this video, from adverts, will also be going straight to the charity. So make sure you're watching advert. And thanks for checking it out. So I wanted to do this because I'm trying to raise um, awareness for mental health this year. I think I know a lot of people who are struggling because it is a hard time at the minute with coronavirus and lockdowns. A lot of people are isolated. A lot of us are missing our family. Not just that, a lot of people suffer with mental health and anxiety as it is. So any awareness we can raise, any help we can put out there, I think, is good and my friend Lee Monaghan or Lee Mo 57 as he known on, as he's known on Twitch is one of the nicest blokes the most genuine people I know and the community is created on his Twitch channel and the work he does as a mental health nurse and for evolving mindset is mind blowing he is is a legend um he's created a discord group i mean his streams are some of the most fun uplifting places you could ever go if you're feeling down or alone or you do suffer with anything mental health wise it's okay to not be okay. Don't feel alone. Reach out to Evolve Your Mindset because they will be life-changing for you. So we're going to be following now the career of Luke Jones. Starting at 23 Oldham, he's got his life on track. Can he have a good career? Well, we're going to find out. So let's find out. So let's start here on Luke's um, history. Now you can see I've put in his youth years at Everton where he just played in the youth team. So he was released in 2013. And hasn't played for a very long time, really. I might have got the odd date wrong there, but let's forget about that. Um, so he's had that big gap where obviously everything happened in the story. And now he's signed for Oldham Athletic in League Two. Now, what I did with him is I've given him 60 ability, which is pretty low. But I've given him 170 um, potential ability, which means he could, he could actually make it into the Premier League if everything goes right for him. Um, I gave him three attributes and that was it. I mean, he's very brave because he is a brave lad to come through what he's come through and get to where he is. He's very determined and he's naturally fit because he's looked after himself these days. And apart from that, I left it up to the FM gods 
of the editor to decide for itself. And it's given him 14 handling, 14 reflexes, which is, is and 14 balance, which is good for a keeper. He's lacking other things. He is only five foot nine, and a lot of good goalkeepers you'll find are well over six foot. So that might affect him. Um, but obviously he's bulked out a little bit as well. Now he is 23, and goalkeepers can progress later. They do tend to have a tend to still get better as they get older so hopefully he'll have a good career he might not get to the very top but as long as he has a good long playing career i'll be very happy for him on to his information um he is english i've made him irish as well so you know if he becomes half decent he could play for ireland which you know might be quite cool and um, now he's driven uh he's an everton fan obviously and he loves oldham because they've given him his chance now, he's quite reserved when it comes to media handling, but his favourite personnel, his absolute idol, is Lee Monaghan. And because of everything Lee has done for him, he thought, you know what, I need an agent. Lee, would you work for me? And Lee said, yeah. And this is the famous Lee Monaghan, Lee Mo 57 I keep saying, go and check out his Twitch stream and Evolving Mindset. Links to everything down below. Look how handsome he is. I do love him so much. A lot of man love for Lee. Very old friend of mine, a legend. Um, so I've made him an agent, and he's a good agent. He's not going to try and lord his client out. He's not all about himself. He's all about what's best for Luke and Luke's career. So hopefully Lee can guide him. He's only got he's only got Luke on his books, and that's all he needs. Now, if you look up there his contract, you'll see he's only on two hundred fifty pound a week. Although apparently he's the first choice keeper, and he's worth four hundred seventy five pound because he's got no reputation. No one knows who this kid is at all. Um, but I hope he can do well. And he started his career at Oldham, a club I do like a lot. Managed by Harry Kuehl. Played for Liverpool, Leeds. Bit of a, he was a good player in his day, wasn't he? Uh, they play at Boundary Park. And they are a founding member of the Premier League. Can Luke help them climb back up? Well, they're around mid-table, according to the bookies. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully he can grow his career. I'm, I'm well excited to see what happens to him. Because he's a keeper, because he's starting on the back foot. Can he develop? Can he become a Premier League keeper? Let's find out. We're going to jump forward five years. Now age 27. It's the year 2025. We find Luke Jones at West Bromwich Albion. Um, it also looks like he had a stint at Leeds. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a loan. We'll have a look in a minute. Uh, and you can see he's starting to, to flesh out quite light, nicely. Um, he's still English, so he's not chose to play for Ireland, although he's never played for England. And he's now worth 9.25 million, 48 grand a week. So it shows you've done it um, with a keeper. You can start him really, really low. And um, he's got good, I mean, top class players are going to be 190s, 180s. 170s is good. You can become a Premier League player on 170. You can be a Premier League player on the 160 potential ability. Um, but you never know which way it's going to go. He could have got an injury or so on. Um, but I'm, I'm really, really happy for him. This is his playing history and he stayed at Oldham for a while. I'm glad because I made him loyal because I wanted him to be loyal. I didn't want him to, you know, he's not going to just turn his back on someone. They gave him a chance. And he helped Oldham get promoted. They were mid-table, weren't they? Or favourites to be. So they've got promoted. Maybe Luke was the backbone of that team. Uh, he spent two years in League One. And then he was bought by Leeds in the Premier League. Played two games, let two goals in. They obviously didn't like him. Uh, and they've sold him to West Brom. So he's, he's took a step back to the Championship. And he's just had an amazing season. And got promotion. Now, he's not won any competitions. He's just had a couple of um, promotions. Let's look at awards. Named in a few of the best teams. Supporters play with the year for Oldham. That's well good. The lad's doing really well. And what he's done is, even though he's in a better place, it doesn't mean he could never turn back or, you know, struggle mentally again. So he always continues to have them sessions. Stays in touch with Evolving Mindset. Takes part in the community. You've always still got to check in, I think, and keep on top of it so 27 he's still got room to grow i think a keeper can get better into the 30s really i mean they can do i mean he has proper fleshed out there he's still not the strongest he's still only little he's put a little bit of weight on but he's a he looks like a good good keeper be nice if he could have a good run in the premier league now this is when i love stuff like this i love this game and the random stuff of it and how it can make a story itself and and change things and all that and we find luke jones i love this we find Luke Jones in the year 2030. He's now 32 years old with a cap for England, which is awesome. He's played for his country. Back at Everton, the team he started at, the team his father supported, the team he supported, the team he had a great youth career at and that released him and gave up at him. All these years later, I've re-signed him. So this is his career. Um, and of course, I think we left him. He signed for West Brom, didn't he? And they've gone back into Premier League and he had that good run in the Prem which is fantastic, although he looked like he got relegated. 
played a few games for him and then made the jump back when Everton bought him for 15 and a half million. A trolley pusher from Asda who's, who's given up by him. He nearly ended his own life because of all the other tragedies that happened. Things are snowballed and built up and built up. Ends up getting bought back for 50. You had him for free, boys. And you've just had to spend 15 and a half million. I love how he's gone back to Everton. I don't know if that's because he's a fan and they showed interest. So he turned down everyone else and went there. Now Everton are managed by Mikel. That's why I'm going to say it. They play at Bramley Moor Dock Stadium, which is amazing. Um, but who signed him? I'm guessing the current manager did. He's been there a couple of years. Um, I mean, Errol Balut could have done it. The left, the caretaker wouldn't have done it. Um, but that guy there, if he's been there two years and Luke's been there two years, does that say Europa League? It does. So the, he's actually won two trophies. So he got to Everton. His first year he won the Europa Conference League, which is like the third division of Europe, isn't it? Um, and then with England, he came third in the Nations League. And then he's just won the Europa League. So he's, he's going to win the Champions League. He's, he's working his way up, isn't he? So they beat Feyenoord in the Conference League two years ago. And Bournemouth have just won it. <laughs> and then that is the best thing I think I've ever seen. And no offence to Liverpool, but Everton-Liverpool in the Europa League final and Everton win it. Liverpool are great on this game. Everton, obviously, aren't as good, but they were that day. Well done, Luke, man. So in his first season with Everton, they finished 11th. And then last year, they finished 11th. But obviously, they're in the Champions League. Let's check in on his personal information. Um, wants to win a trophy. You've won a couple, mate. Can't wait for the Champions League. Wants to do some coaching. That's quite cool. Uh, obviously, he loves Lee still. Idol Slavin Bilic as a manager. Harry Kuehl his manager. Patrick Vieira was his manager. And Roberto Mancini was his manager. I bet one of them is an England manager who gave him his call up. And he still only has Luke on his books. Lee's just looking after this kid. Guided him forever. So this is England. Uh, Ralph Hassel. I can't say his name. Uh, Ralph is the manager. Let's have a look at managers. Yeah, that's why I love Roberto. Roberto probably gave him his debut. Go back to the overview. Um, the fifth in the world, which is pretty cool. But if I go on to the squad. This is the last squad. You'll see he's one of three goalkeepers. We've got this kid here. He was a regen. He looks pfft. at Man United. Wow, Mohamed Anwar is a beast. Got uh, Aaron Ramsdale. We know who he is, uh, and obviously Luke. So I'm wondering if Luke got his cap to make sure he didn't go to Ireland, and now he's just a squad player. But he looks like the third choice keeper. But it's better than it's better than freaking pushing trolleys as the. So how can he do? Well, can he do any more at 32? I mean, he could do some more with England being part of the squad. Can he do well in the Champions League? Can he win an FA Cup, a league, anything? Well, we've jumped forward to 2033 because this is Luke's last season at Everton. He does retire uh, at Everton and never plays for England again. He just had that one cap. But he went to many, many tournaments. I don't know if he won much. Um, let's find out. He's won some <laughs> with under-23s anyway. So he had five years at Everton as a kid. And he's he just going into his sixth year. He didn't play last year. So it's looking like, you know, he had them three good years. I mean, that would have been the conference year, the Europa League year. He had that year where he would have been in the Champions League. And then I'm guessing they moved on from him and he became the number two that year. He didn't play it this year. He's been in the 23s now. So, you know, he's, he's on that downward spiral. But what a career. <laughs> what a career. And if he ends it there, which he does, that's brilliant. So he didn't win the Champions League, but obviously they would have played in the Super Cup against the Champions League winners. And they won it. They beat Barcelona. You see that there? They beat Barcelona. <laughs> that's amazing. What a career he had. And that was his final year when he was playing. So what 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 an end, really. What I really like as well is he was inducted into Everton's overall best 11. Some of the great keepers they've had. So not only did he end up back at Everton winning trophies, three trophies with Everton, he's now classed as their best ever keeper. Check on his uh, biography, uh, just if you want to pause it and have a read. And I think for what he went through and where he came, I was so surprised that this is the kind of career he had. And, that, you know, he got a game for England. He was part of the squad. He's won a good few medals as well. So, yeah, really chuffed how it worked out for him. And this is where he finished up as an assistant manager. He's unemployed. He's just retired. 37 years old. Looks like he could be decent. He just needs to get a chance, doesn't he? He's got his National C license. So he's in the next stage of his career. And, yeah, proper, proper chuffed to bits. Seriously. I love it when it takes a tour. I love the stories when it comes out like this because they're just holiday. You never know where it's going to go. So there we have it. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you're going to support what we're trying to do.
with this video by watching at least one advert. Like I said, any money raised from it will be going to Evolving Mindset. So thank you for the support. I'd love to know what you think in the comments. Um, if you're a fan of my story experiments, I do have more planned. Like I've said in other videos, I've um, it's been hard this year because we've had a baby. My other son's at home. All the schools are shut. So I just don't got the time to put into these. They do take a lot of time. But I really do appreciate you watching and supporting Evolving Mindset. Make sure you go into the description. You check all the links. Links to Evolving Mindset, links to Lee, links to his Twitch channel. If you like Football Manager and you like streaming, go and drop the guy um, a follow. You'll have so much fun with him. He's such a legend, good friend, and an amazing guy. Does amazing work. So, yeah, thank you for checking this video out. Hit the thumbs up. I'm booed. I'll see you next time.